Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another reading for you guys. This is going to be for uh, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the middle of the month of July 2019. Let's see what is to come for you guys. Spirit, I guess. Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, here we go. Alrighty, let me pull this a bit back so you guys can see here. And okay, Aries, let's see what's coming towards you. Now we do have here, uh, if you guys can see, we have two um, two shells here uh, that are close to uh, Earth, which is signifier of the element of pentacles, which would be finances. I do see a new opportunity coming for some of you guys. Um, uh, this could represent um, a higher ranking position or uh, some type of offer. Um, and I feel that for some of you guys, it could be like an offer that is unexpected or unbeknownst to you. Uh, that definitely presents itself at the end of July. Because um, I do see two different, uh, two different choices, but as well two different paths. Um, so it could be, uh, like I said, unexpected news or opportunity in your business and finances. Now I do have one upright and the other is uh, in reverse. Um, so what this is signifying to me is two different opportunities or two different options to choose from uh, at the end of, again, like I said, uh, July. Now, for those of you guys that are currently dealing with an earth sign, which would be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, I feel that uh, in the present, there may be some type of miscommunication or not being on the same page or not being able to see or understand what their intentions are with you, Aries, or, or vice versa, it is a general reading. Um, but this is definitely speaking to me about a connection. Uh, there, is an, uh, there is a connection, but someone's resisting here. It could be uh, the person of your interest, or it could be you yourself, uh, that you find this, con or you feel this connection, but yet you're still resisting. For some of you guys, it could be an indicator of emotional detachment or fear as we do have the positive and negative as well. Uh, so I do see that coming uh, towards you and I feel that there's going to be some type of culmination at the end of July uh, where one or the other decides to open up or speak up freely about what it is that you guys are feeling, confessing um, feelings, uh, that type of energy. Now I do see here as you guys can see right here, this is a very big, uh, very big shell and it's in the reverse position. So I feel that for some of you guys, um, the month of July is, or at the end of July, I feel that it's going to be, it's going to impact you. Whoops. It's going to impact you, um, in the physical, in the physical aspect, uh, as it is right at the center of the sun, which signifies enlightenment or something coming out to the open, um, and this is a physical body. So I feel that for some of you guys, for those of you guys that have been dealing with like illnesses or issues in regards to uh, any type of health issue, I feel that for the month uh, or the end of July, this is going to be coming up for you guys. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be coming up for you guys where, let me move this a bit uh, this way. So you guys can see it a bit better. All right. So I do feel that uh, this is definitely going to be coming up for you guys for the month of July or the end of July. Uh, it is in the uh, reverse position facing down. Um, but because it is right at the center, it does speak to me very clearly about um, things that have been hidden in the physical. So again, if you've been having health issues or you've been going to doctors and they haven't been able to diagnose you or they haven't been able to attend to you because they are uncertain about what's going on, even with you, um, just if you've been feeling like your energy's been drained, you've been very tired, I feel that at the end of the month, there's definitely going to be a burst of energy where you're going to be able to incorporate or figure out 
what it is that's ha that has been happening for some of you guys that have been experiencing issues. So it's not a negative because I feel that it's good. It's going to come up. And because it is next to the earth here, it is going to be coming up to fortify or strengthen your body. So again, this is definitely a good thing. It's not a negative. Um, now, right here, as you guys can see, we have, so this is definitely telling me that for some of you Aries out there, um, I do feel that some of you guys may be having issues in regards to children or in regards to a separation um, that for some of you guys, there was a separation or you may be experiencing or have been experiencing a separation or an ending of a relationship. And I feel that there is issues in regards to children, or it could be like the, the mother or the father kind of, um, making up excuses or almost trying to use the excuse that, you know, you have, it's almost like the child is a shield for some of some of the ones, uh, some of you out there that are dealing with this type of energy where there was a separation and there is a child involved or children involved, um, I feel that the mother or the father, wh whomever has full custody of the child, um, may be having issues in regards to communication, um, almost like reacting in a spiteful way, uh, taking it out not on the children, but taking it out on you using the child as a go-to, if that makes sense. Um, but I do feel that, again, those intentions are definitely going to be coming up up here, uh, which is signifying to me coming to light, uh, being able to see, or even catching the ex-partner in a lie. Um, or it could even be your child opening up and speaking about, I guess, what the father or where the mother says, like when you're not around, that type of energy. So try the best you can, Aries, not to be spiteful in the sense of don't be, don't go off of vengeance, like, oh, I'm gonna get her back or I'm gonna get him back. Um, understand that we do have a lot of planet alignments right now that are not really working with us in regards to, with communication. So there may be misunderstandings. Um, give the benefit of the doubt again don't jump quick to conclusions because if you should tap into the anger um i do see that you know it's not going to come out in a positive way uh because it's going to create more tension back here with again the relationship or the partnership you know even if you're not currently with someone um but you do have a child and you're no longer with them there is still going to be a link between you two. There always will be because of the child. Uh, so it's best to take the high road on this and don't tap into your aggression or don't tap into your anger. Aries, try to control that uh, for the end of July. Now, we um, we do have more uprights than downrights. So what this is symbolizing to me is there's not going to be a lot of obstacles other than, again, communication, issues with communication. Um, if you are, in fact, dealing with in another fire energy, which would be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries like yourself, again, be very careful. Try to go the route of compromise versus I do see and hear a lot of misunderstanding. So, again, just, just point to note um, or note to self, I should say. Uh, because of the planet alignments, we will be having a lot of miscommunications, and I definitely do see that happening. So again, just be mindful about that. Um, I don't see very much obstacle, especially in your finances. Now, in regards to love um, and romance, uh, we do have two here, uh, which could signify, obviously, the male-female energy or both uh, same-sex energy. Uh, it is a general reading. Um, but I do see you guys going towards over here, the Venus. So what this is signifying to me is that for those of you guys that are currently single, I do see a detachment from the past. Um, but I also see a link coming towards you. So uh, let me make it clear. For some of you guys, you guys are still dealing with issues from the past, especially if there's children involved. Don't let that deter or don't let that impact your current love life. Uh, because I do see you guys very guarded and very protected. Um, but I do see a link or a connection happening. Again, for some of you guys, it could be an earth sign. For others of you, it could be um, a, um, 
It could be a sun energy, so it'd be a fire energy. Uh, for others of you, you may be dealing with the Libra. Um, but again, like I said, it, it, what they're saying here is that there is a connection forming or a bond that's forming. And I do see you both facing each other. So again, keep an open heart. Open yourself up. Um, give yourself the opportunity. Yes, there's been some type of disturbance, difficulties, obstacles, or even hurt. Um, I do see a lot of hurt here. Uh, and this could be a representation of past love relationships. Nonetheless, you are currently going towards uh, the center, which the center would mean, again, almost the turning of a page or the a karmic ending cycle and going towards a new beginning. So definitely keep that in mind. Uh, put yourself out there, Aries. I feel that at the end of July, going towards the first week of August, I do see you guys very highlighted. Uh, this could represent getting a lot of attention uh, at work as well. It could be like people acknowledging the hard work that you've been putting or the accompli accomplishments that you have made in such short time. Um in comparison to others that are around you. So I definitely do see, um, again, as you guys can see here, we have most of the shells in the sun. So this is illumination, but this is also self. And self does represent, again, how other people are perceiving us or seeing us and the attention going towards us in a positive way. So I definitely do see a lot of progress, uh, new beginnings for you guys. And again, uh, finances uh, doing very, um, if you have been struggling or you've had some hiccups in regards to finances, uh, especially finances in regards to child or children involved, um, expenses, they are going back to school, that type of energy. But I don't see any like major expenses other than more of the mundane. So again, uh, definitely a good reading for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys do like the shell readings, definitely let me know and we'll put more of those out. Okay. Talk to you guys then. Bye.